In voting to defeat a parliamentary motion of no confidence in Jacob Zuma, African National Congress, MPs have merely postponed the President's Day of Reckoning, the internal party battle to succeed the weakened and unpopular leader is likely to intensify, while South Africa's chronic economic problems and public disillusionment with the ANC, in power since 1994, seem certain to grow. Zuma's survival could be short-lived. He is immersed in spiraling allegations of corruption, mismanagement and personal financial wrongdoing. One of the most notorious is the 2010 purchase of a family home on the exclusive water kloof ridge overlooking Pretoria. Leaked documents suggest part of the, the 5.24-meter South African rand £300,000 used to purchase the property came from the Gupta business empire, which is at the heart of the state capture scandal. Jacob Zuma survives no confidence vote in South African Parliament read more Zuma potentially faces criminal charges over allegations he received kickbacks linked to government contracts and tenders. Julius Malima, leader of the opposition economic freedom fighters and a high-profile ANSI defector, personally lodged charges against Zuma and the Guptas at Johannesburg Central Police Station in June, alleging a huge fraud. We are here because we are protecting the poor African masses, Malima said. We want to protect the South African purse, which Zuma and his friends have turned into a personal purse. Ongoing controversy over state capture, when private individuals and businesses exert undue influence over government policy, will not evaporate simply because Zuma has survived. Nor will the complaints that triggered Tuesday's vote, that the president showed reckless and irrational behavior in managing the economy and in sacking successive finance ministers Praveen Gordon and Nianla Nene. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, MMUSI, May Main. Photograph, John Luigi Gersha, AFP, Getty. Images, Zuma's derelict leadership has resulted in a collapse of public confidence in the president, and ultimately undermined efforts to restore confidence in the South African economy. The leader of the main opposition Democratic Alliance, MMUSI, May Main, said in proposing the vote, 